Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Monday, May 1st. I'm um, just gonna do a little unboxing for you guys. Bring you guys up to speed on what's going on with the channel and whatnot. I actually had a nice long conversation with my manager from Studio 71 and they basically said, yeah, you're not the only guy who's got hit with the uh, the massive devaluation of your videos. Uh, they're definitely saying, you know, wait and see what happens. Don't freak yet. Um, we'll see what goes on. Basically, I, what I'm gathering is, you know, it's like a lot of the major advertisers kind of pulled out there. Uh, McDonald's and Coke and Verizon, a whole bunch of other people. And uh, so there's less ads to go around and PewDiePie still needs his millions. So uh, small YouTubers like me are making do. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody who bought a t-shirt over the the weekend holy crap you guys were amazing uh the base is lift shirt was my biggest seller by far uh it's too bad it was only a 48 hour sale um i'll be having more 48 hour sales coming up for other shirt designs i've got about six or seven in the pipe that are a lot of fun and um yeah i think you guys are really gonna like them Here's something else that I've been working on for the last little bit. I've been working on a, on a cover song um, for a heart song, actually, and we're doing it pretty heavy. And the vocalist I originally thought I wanted to sing on it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. So if anybody knows a female vocalist who sings metal style, who can really bring the heat and doesn't need pitch correction, contact me over the Spectre Media Facebook page because I am looking for that. Somebody who can, you know, make a decent recording on their own with a decent microphone and video capability as well because I'm looking to work with somebody and I need somebody who can really sing, like I said, female vocalist, metal style, no auto-tune. That would be a big help. All right. Anyway, on to the unboxing. Like I was saying, I met Ken Susie a couple years ago at NAMM and I had a chance to hang out with him at NAMM 2017 for a little bit. And everybody's going ape shit over these, uh, these Fishman Fluence pickups. So I asked him, hey dude, like um, I've got a couple of guitars I could probably stand to upgrade. Let's take a look here and see what we can do. Um, I know Fluff went completely Fishman. And um, so there's somebody whose opinion I actually, I, I really value actually, is Fluff's when it comes to guitar pickups and that kind of thing, because the guy really knows his stuff. So yeah, I figure, okay, let's give this a shot. So let's see what the nice people at Fishman sent me. Ooh. Uh, packing peanuts, I love packing peanuts. It's not like they get everywhere. Okay. What do we got here first? We have a Fishman Fluence classic humbucker in the bridge. And that's really cool. Let's see what else we got. And that is for a, that's for a six string. And um, you're gonna see what that's gonna be for in a minute. What else we got here? Okay, rechargeable battery pack. Now I'm not exactly certain how all this stuff works, but whatever, we'll figure it out. And <laughs> Fishman Modern Humbucker 7-string set. Let's just get a shot of that right up there. That's the Modern Humbucker 7-string set. This is the uh, uh, Fishman Single Width SSP. And I think we got one more of those right here. Let me see here. And yes, the Fishman Single Width SSP. So that is extremely freaking cool. Let's see if there's something in the bottom here. No, just more packing stuff. Okay, and that's that's that from Fishman. So the idea here is I'm gonna be retrofitting one of my seven strings with uh, with the Fishman pickups, one of the cheaper guitars actually, and uh, we're gonna be doing a couple other mods on that as well. And then of course, we're gonna be dumping these into my Strat and we're gonna see how these turn out as well. And we're gonna do some before and after tests because I'm really interested in trying these out. Now here's my thing is this battery pack, um, is that transferable between guitars or uh, how does that work? It looks like this actually screws onto your guitar. So I'm curious how I'm gonna work that out with two, two guitars and one battery pack, but I'll figure it out. Worst comes to worst, I'll order a second one. Now, somebody had asked me, you know, what happens if you, you know, retrofit a cheap guitar? So what I'm also gonna be doing is uh, working with some parts that I got from Graph Tech and my good friend, Justin Static over there. And uh, we're gonna be upgrading some tuners uh, with these multi-geared tuning technology tuners that are supposed to make your tuning a whole lot faster. These are the ratio tuners. Uh, really looking forward to trying these out. Justin, I uh, got to chat with him a little bit at the uh, Endorse Expo in, um, in Santa Ana. And we were talking about that, the tuners at great length. And I thought that'd be a really cool idea for the show. Again, this is it's a seven string guitar. So we've got seven tuners. And I got some picks here from them. And these are various other accessories. Okay, well, those are not accessories. Those are uh, keychains. Thank you very much, Graph Tech. Here's what I'm looking for. These are extra parts. 
and they went on okay at great length to explain to me what these are and these are new bridge saddles they're made out of graphite and they're supposed to um save your string so i'm really looking forward to try that out and oh yes they sent me a new nut as well which is permanently lubricated let's see if i can get some um shots of these momentarily but uh yeah that's so that's that this is going to be a very interesting project uh like i said i'm going to do like a before and after thing so over the next couple days i'm just going to have a little guitar being played and then um i'm going to take it into a shop and have it outfitted and have the new pickups put on and i think i'm going to do the bridge myself because it shouldn't be that hard maybe i'll get that see if we can get the nut um swapped out as well but uh yeah we've definitely got the parts here i got I don't know how long the lead time is at my local shop. My good friend Jay Swatman does all my guitar work for me. And uh, he's at LaSalle Music in, uh, in Southern Ontario here. And if you're in the neighborhood and you need some quality guitar work done, I highly recommend talking to Jay because the guy really knows his stuff. And I've been going to him since the mid nineties and he's absolutely fantastic what he does. Anyway, once again, thank you so much for watching. I will keep you guys updated as to what's going on with the channel. But uh, thanks again to everybody who bought a shirt. That was a huge boost in confidence. Uh, you guys are simply amazing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd really appreciate it. We're creeping ever so closely to 200,000 subscribers. Believe me, every single one of you guys counts. Every single one of you guys matters to me uh, because it wouldn't, I would not be having this show if it weren't for you guys. But like I said, we're going to be doing a really cool episode where we upgrade a cheaper guitar. And I'm really looking forward to that. And we'll see how that goes. Until next time, I will see you guys probably Friday for SMG viewers comments. Take it easy. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you like the content, please support the channel either at my SMG shop or through my Patreon. If you want to see more, hit one of the playlists. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here.